We all know what it's like as drivers to hit the same red light every day along a corridor. With coordination, you can make much better use of your green time and get more vehicles through. Coordination is a really effective strategy to improve travel times and overall mobility along a corridor. You can do a really great job of optimizing your individual intersections, but if you think about it, the chance that a vehicle is going to hit a green light is just directly proportional to the amount of green time that that phase gets. With coordination, you can make much better use of your green time and get more vehicles through. But if you're going to do coordination, it's really important to do it right and make sure that you have the tools to do it right. We all know what it's like as drivers uh, to hit the same red light every day along a corridor. And that's what can happen, for example, if your offsets aren't right. There are three main categories of benefits to traffic signal coordination. The first is mobility. The second is safety. And the third is environmental. Now for mobility, we have a reduction in travel times, a reduction in delay, and an improvement in travel time reliability across the corridor from day to day. For safety, we can see a reduction in collisions, both for vehicles and pedestrians and cyclists. And lastly, environmental, you have a reduction in emissions and a reduction in fuel consumption. Now all of these things together, you can put together into a benefit cost analysis, which is very high for traffic signal coordination. Let's talk about some of the challenges of traffic signal coordination that we hear about from our clients. One is financial considerations. What corridors are you gonna retime and how often? What times of day do you wanna focus on? How many timing plans do you wanna do? The second is public perception. So of course, the moment that the public hears that you're gonna be retiming a corridor that they travel on every day, there's all these expectations that travel is just gonna be perfect on that corridor for all times. When in reality, you're balancing a lot of competing priorities. You might have cross streets that are also being coordinated that you need to consider. You might have heavy pedestrian traffic at certain intersections that needs to be accounted for in your timing. And the last one is jurisdictional. So you might have multiple owners and operators of intersections along your corridor, and the question is how are you gonna to work together to make it happen? 